Hey yo guys, so I made a new crack for Game Maker. Um, this one works on 8.1, HTML5, and Studio. And you can get any export module you want, even the ones that don't exist, like Neo Geo X or 3DS or Wii U, whatever, the ones that never actually came out. You can just add them into your list. You can't actually download them, so they don't actually work, but you can add them into the list of things you have. Anyway, so um, I'm going to start with Game Maker 8.1, so I'm just going to install Game Maker 8.1. Okay, great. Start Game Maker. As you can see, it's the right version. I'm going to do Game Maker for HTML5. And it's installing. And you can see it's not licensed. All right, and then Game Maker Studio 1.499. Best version, actually, no, Gaming 8.1 is the best version, but it's the best version that you use to use Vita. It's the only version that's used Vita. <laughs> Alright. Checking processes. And it should be done any second now. Moving to new directory. Upgrade compete, awesome, okay. And value license detected. Yeah yeah, I was doing this earlier, just no don't, don't mind me. Um please we start game studio so I'll start game micro studio one point four and you will see if it will ever open. Sorry, Dream Studio C always hell. Yeah, so he wants me to enter my license info. Okay, great. So this this crack is called Universal Game Maker Patcher or UGP. So I'm just gonna open this up. Um it's actually made in Game Maker, which is pretty funny. So Universal Game Maker Patcher. <laughs> So now I'm going to try Game Maker 8.1. That audio wouldn't have worked. And you see now it's Game Maker 8.1 standard. Awesome. Um, and I can, you know, I can I can rename an object just just to show. You can rename an object and it won't get mad at me for saying I haven't valid run the data. See. <laughs> So this is this is an actual crack that actually works. Now um, it's actually more like a key gen than a crack, honestly. Uh, so start. I don't know why it's taking so long. This is such a simple application. We yod yod. Yeah, see. Um, and if I check the help about Game Maker, you'll see it's registered to Universal Game Maker Patcher. You can change that everything there inside the program. All right. Awesome. So now let's do HTML5. Awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to start Game of HTML5. It'll be awesome. It wasn't licensed. Now it will be. See, and I can, and again, I can rename an object and it will work. Like, root, okay, um, all right, and I could export it as Windows or HTML5. I'm going to do the Windows one. And you see that works too. Alright, and finally studio. So with studio, it's actually got a lot more for options. Yeah. 
downloading every export module for Game Maker Studio directly from Yo-Yo Game servers, because why not? Alright. And it's now extracting the last one now. So now we have every export module for Gaming Studio, or at least the ones we entered, um, that actually are on the server. So let's go and start Game Maker Studio now. And we should see it just load up and suddenly have a license. Yep, there we go. So now I can get your or whatever. Click OK. And if we check in here, we'll see we now have Neo Geo X, Wii U, and 3DS. Even though these don't work, you need a um, export module, which we can't get because it's never been uploaded to the server. But as you can see, they do indeed show up. And you get every other export module as well. And check this out. If I go to VS Vivo, and go Scripts, Create Script, PSN, Init, Gibbs, and PSN underscore like you know, all these functions here they actually work in the mp ibs whatever like bxs one says everyone um a bunch of x's um a bunch of x's right you see it actually shows up it doesn't give me an error and if i were to build this it would actually work um so that, that's that's pretty cool so yeah game is a reason i'm to okay and I'll show you, I'll just show you, you know, if it doesn't really work. So, here we go. And see, it works fine. And of course, if we check the help page about Game Maker, it's registered to Silicon Pino, and here's all our export modules. So, as you can see, this crack works. It works on every version of Game Maker since 8.1 to 1.499. It does not work on Studio 2. Um, it, that was a complete rewrite of the code, so, you know, no chance. But it uses the exact same exploit. Basically, it just bypasses the license verification. Um, but yeah, this program here is actually made in Game Maker 8.1, and it should work on Windows XP. I tried to make sure of that. I haven't actually tried it, but it should, um, in theory. Because Game Maker 8.1 works on XP, so I thought my program should also work on XP. So, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.